So, hey there, listener. This is Do You Want to Make a Podcast? Yes, that is the name of the show. We just have a couple bullet points that we need to hit before we start. One, there's a fireplace. It's fake. I've ruined everything. <laughs> Wait, should we start over? <laughs> Take two. Hello, listener. You are you are listening to because you're a listener. Take three. <laughs> This is... Wait, we should establish, like, what we want to talk about. What are the bullet points we need to hit here? I I got it. I got it. Okay, so we tell them that the show is called Do You Want to Make a Podcast? It is a fireside chat between two best friends who are on the hunt to create the perfect podcast. They have a lot of ideas, and they can't decide what they want to talk about. Okay. That's pretty much it. That's it. We that's 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 the synopsis. Like, then we'll then we'll plug the do we social want to media. Do like social media. Yeah, stuff? yeah, yeah. So so we'll tell them to follow us at Do You Want to Pod, all spelled out. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also email us at Do You Want to Make a Podcast at Gmail dot com. That's it. That works for me. Wait, I think we just did it. We did it. That was my that was my plan all along. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. Except hello, because now the show's starting. Yes, it is. up our levels a little bit there there we go so we're here again we've regrouped yep and it's time to make a podcast all right i'm here for it i think this is the year this is it if if listeners are new uh we made the joke before that we do one podcast episode per year we record one episode per year and now and now we're releasing them all yes we've been doing this for over 70 years at this point. Feels like an eternity. God, it does. And we've done it apparently since birth. <laughs> That's why the first episodes were so bad. Came out the womb with a microphone in my hand. Goo goo gaga. Goo goo pod? pod? No, there's no, nothing there. You know, I, okay. Yeah. So what if it wasn't actually us getting, well, I'm just thinking because like the first episode people were able to understand because we're actually the translators for the people right. that are coming up with all the ideas. Yes, we we are the baby the babies, yeah. So Yeah, like, so Jim and Joe were two people that lived ages ago. Ages ago. And they recorded honest. all these episodes and then we are the people that have put this who've taken they wrote everything down. Right. And we're reading their ancient texts. Ancient texts. <laughs> That somehow predicted uh, pop culture and political events of the future. These two were, they you could say that they were ahead of their psychics. Time. Yeah, very ahead of their time. True Nostradamus. <laughs> and uh, they were very meta, so they would write things down so that we would say, "This is us writing," you know, reading right. the writings. Exactly. Yes. It's just they were ma- They were geniuses. Genii. G- genii. Hmm. Wow. And they sent them to, they sent these messages and bottles to uh, other people also named Jim and Joe. So I guess we've also, uh, now that we've uh, pulled back the curtain of uh, Joe's uh, surrogate, <laughs> would you like to make a podcast? Yes, Jim's surrogate. Joe's surrogate would. Also, Joe would. <laughs> yeah, and and, and, Jim, and would. Jim would presumably, the yeah. ancient Jim. We'll, we'll we'll refer to them as as the ancients. The ancients. Do you ever wonder about the ancients? Only every second of my life. Yeah, they gave us unlimited uh, money and time to just read their transcribed podcasts and release it each week. You know what? Yeah. Screw this. Oh, what if we came up with our own, own podcast? What? So you're saying instead of following the form of the ancients, or sorry, reading the the texts of the ancients, we just do our own thing? Yes. Should we keep their format though, just so that way? Oh yes. It's familiar to the listener. Oh yes. I think that'll work. Okay, great. 
Hey, so that means I have a so, list for you. Yes, that's right, yours. Exactly. And this is the first one that. Jim and I have actually written down ourselves, and it is not on an ancient scroll. Correct. Modern paper. Wow. Here we are. Modern paper. It's a podcast called Drive Hive. The Drive Hive. The Drive... Ah, okay. So... I mean, you don't have to say it like that. I this just, is a story about women with very tall hairdos. Kind of like the beehive okay, hairdo. so they have beehive hairdos. And they drive around. Okay, so they drive their hives. They drive their hives. And this is a podcast chronicling uh, all the near misses that happen because their hair is so high it's hard for other drivers on the road to see what's going on and they almost get in car crashes and we find these near misses and we ask them uh what happened here and they're like oh i was i was driving on the road and this and this lady her hair was so tall and i, and I couldn't stop staring at it and i almost killed like 20 people Oh, okay, so they get they get lured in by the hair. Yeah, so they was, can't stop staring at I it. I was having some real trouble thinking that like the hive was uh, obscuring people's view, and I was like, "It the, is the only place that wouldn't happen is while driving." <laughs> <laughs> this is this is all, but like this is these are compact cars. They're very close together, so the hair of the person think, in front of you. I don't think you understand what a compact car is either. <laughs> but okay. I'm trying to place the driver behind the hair, close to the hair. And if you're in compact cars, they're driving closer together. Dubious. No, like like one car is closer to the one in front of it. Yes. Because they're compact. No, you, well, you first off, you, you should maintain a safe following distance. You should, but in these near misses, they generally don't. Well, whose fault is that? Theirs. Well, then what does the beehive have to do with it? Because they're also a hive mind. <laughs> What? These women drive in like coordinated shapes. So they're like fighter pilots. Yeah, basically. Okay. And their hair just looks so damn good. And they're driving in like diamond shapes and triangle shapes. And everyone else on the road is like, we don't know how to handle this. And damn, does that hair look good? Does it look good though? It's a, it's a hairdo from a time long past yeah they're driving you know like cadillac coupe de now, I, I realize that the the hairdos are younger than the ancients mm -hmm. but still that's a time long past <laughs> and it needs to go the way of the ancients of the ancients <laughs> man i feel so free so for the first time in a long time right talking about the ancients like this yeah wow they have no power over you in this moment they don't at least I think they don't. They don't. <laughs> Maybe Drive Hive can be driving out the hive. Where it's like, this haircut has got to go. Drive the hive off a cliff. Woo, that took a turn, but sure. I mean, you want to get rid of it. If you kill them, yeah, then, then the hair is you gone forever. You don't have forever. to kill the people, you just have to kill the thing on their head. So you're going to chop off this hair and you're going to throw it off a cliff? Yep. All right. Sounds like a winner to me. Never to be heard from again. <laughs> in 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 the middle of the night, I'm just gonna go up to these ladies and just like take like a machete, a machete, and just go straight through their hair <laughs> because their hair is all on top of their head. So if I go straight through the hair, I still won't hit them. We should say this is just for road safety. We're not trying to say that people shouldn't wear their hair any certain way. It's true. We're just trying to prevent. Uh, but the time deaths. has passed again. Like the time of the ancient, the time of the beehive hairdo is over. <laughs> I love that you're the style police all of a sudden. That's me. Wee woo wee woo. I mean, you you don't know me. <laughs> yeah, I only know what you've been you reading off this scroll. I've been reading. Right, exactly. You I, don't know me at all. Wow. I'm, I'm just going to take that in for a second. Whoa. Huh. Maybe we should maybe we should take this time to get to know each other. You know what's crazy though? <laughs> I mean, you don't know me, but, like, also, like, most of the things that the ancients, like, said, I was, like... Pretty pretty on board with. Wow, that's, like, more or less... Exactly who you are? Exactly who I am. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Time is a flat circle, I guess, is basically what I'm trying to say. Mm, yeah. I 
They they had me pegged as well. Really? Yeah. Maybe that's why we were chosen to do this. I can't imagine a time where we were not doing this. You know, for as long as I can remember, I've been sitting here with you at this table, okay, reading the ancient scrolls, making and podcasts, making a podcast, and then publishing it. Yeah. To the masses. Mm-hmm. What are what's what's the world going to be like once the hive is driven out? Once no one wears beehive hair. Uh, we know it'll be a safer place. It'll be a more stylish place. More stylish place. But won't there be like a honey shortage? I don't think you understand. The that's difference. that's what a beehive hairstyle is. You have a beehive and you wrap your hair around it. Well, then that's truly dangerous. We can put beehives in not hair. <laughs> what? Yes. No. Yes. Crazy. I know, right? I don't know what you've it been smoking. It was a novel concept 30 years ago when they started doing it. When they started taking hives out of hair? I mean, I understand. Yeah, that's why the beehive p- hairstyle was so popular was because I get it. You know, <laughs> it was popular because that's how we needed to house the bees. So that way for mass could, honey production, we could produce the honey and sell it to the people. Right. But then truly innovative honeyers realized, uh huh. Hey, we don't have to keep these bees in hair. That's crazy. <laughs> we can just build a beehive out of like wood and shit. Hmm. And then. But there were people that were still like, no, but I like my hairstyle. But that, uh, again, was like 30 to 40 years ago. (laughs) At least. Maybe longer. This out of hair hive concept that you're throwing my way just sounds so silly. But I guess. I I know we've been in this basement recording this podcast for eons. (laughs) But you've got to get with the times, my dude. We do still have internet access down here. Yeah, I've just been trying to limit my screen time, you know? I get that. So I only look at magazines from 19, whatever the beehive hairstyle was popular. Popular. I just look at those all the time. Yeah, it's amazing. We should donate these to the Smithsonian <laughs> or something because like they're they're old as heck. I, I use in great condition. I use tweezers when I turn the pages. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Keep them in airtight no, right. packaging when I'm not browsing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Climate controlled. All that stuff. Mm. Maybe we shouldn't give them the Smithsonian. They can't. They can't find a better home than right here. What you're looking at me funny? It's been a. It's it's been crazy down here, huh? I feel I feel so like alive for the first time in so long. You know <laughs> what's what are you gonna do next? I don't even know. Like I can do anything now. You could like stand up. You know I could. You could walk. Wait. Oh. Oh. Whoa, he's up. Whoa, Whoa, Jim, you're standing. I'm standing up. I didn't think your legs actually worked. Here I go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, geez. Easy there. Oh, it's it's like a newborn deer. He's struggling all over the place. Oh, Oh, it's so good to stand. (laughs) Should I? You think... I, hey, hang on. Do you think the audio is okay, though? I have no idea. Well, we'll Let me come back. Yeah, Hold you sit on. down so I can, can stand both, up now. We can't. We can't both stand at the we, same if time. If we can't, if we okay. leave the table at the same time. Oh, Jesus! Do you hear my back cracking? Yes. Ah! Oh! Wow. No wonder they paid people to do this because just to sit down all the time almost feels like smoking. Am I right? I wouldn't know. Oh, wow. Don't you feel so free? You know what? Let's make a podcast. You made a list. And on that list was funsies. Yep. Let's do fun things. Okay. And let's make a podcast about that. We know about fun. We know all about fun. Sitting. Standing. Stretching. Reading old magazines. And... Sometimes we sing. That's fun. And regulating our screen time. (laughs) Yeah, we're so fun. We're so fun. We're the funnest. The most fun. I don't think anyone's ever been more fun than us. I think you're right. We're we're experts in the field. You know what else would be fun? And that's what we need for a podcast. Mm. We need to be experts in that field. That's what the ancients never got right. They talked about anything they ever wanted to. We need to be experts. Hmm. Pick a fun thing yogurt. right now. You're right. 
Yogurt's so fun. Let's eat yogurt. Mmm, yogurt. I'm eating this so expertly, you have no freaking idea. What's it doing to your palate? Well, the first thing you need to know about yogurt is you're not supposed to use utensils, you're just supposed to stick your face in it. You're right! And then it absorbs into your pores and it's good for your skin. It is! And then you inhale it so it gets into your lungs as well. Oh, wait, let me try that. <laughs> Woo! Yep. Yep. That's the most fun I've ever done. Feeling that yogurt rush? Feeling that yogurt rush! And then, when you're when you're cold, it actually works as a thermal layer if you roll around in it. Wait, we can roll in the yogurt? You, you can roll around in anything you want, Jim. You're a free boy now. Yogurt roll. Yeah. Let's do a yogurt roll. <laughs> All right. Let's do a yogurt roll. Ready? I'm just going to lay some yogurt down on the floor there. And up. And roll. I'm down. Uh. I'm up again. I'm, I'm down. I'm oh. up. Oof. This is the most luxurious I'm so slippery. yogurt roll I've ever done. Oh man. I'm so luxurized. 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 Ooh, that sounds fun. Oh, feel the yogurt. What can we add to our yogurt? What else is fun? Oh, this yogurt makes me feel so smooth. Oh, yeah. Smooth yogurt. I want to go on like a slip and slide. But like the world is my slip and slide now that I'm covered in yogurt. Yogurt slip and slide. Yeah. Yeah? That sounds fun. <laughs> Wow. There's so many fun things we can do now, Joe. Like taxes. Yeah. <laughs> Pay all my taxes with yogurt. We can get a desk job. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Could wear uh, glasses. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> that they're fun. Oh, right. Yeah. VR glasses. We can wear those. VR glasses? Yeah. Wow. We can wear a business suit. Ooh, I can carry a, a case for my briefings. Yes, fun. I can stand in a meeting and just make shit up that really has nothing to do with anything. But boy, does it sound professional. We can sleep. Ooh, we cannot sleep. I could lose sleep over my desk job. We could be stressed about things. <laughs> We could lose all our hair. So fun! This is great! Oh my god! Why didn't we think of this sooner? So fun! Wow! Disown the ancients, <laughs> and the world becomes your oyster. <laughs> There's something in there about living for yourself, but I don't have time to dig into it existentially, because wow. I'm having so much fun. It's almost like someone thought of this 500 years ago. Ooh, look Can at all those, look at all those pencils over there. I'm going to go organize them by size. Oh, Jim, you have no idea how much fun this is. Organization. Do, so fun. Do I want to make them go from smallest to largest? So satisfying. Or largest to smallest? You know what? I'm going to try them both and see which one feels both. more fun. Yes. Fun. Oh. <laughs> the answer is largest to smallest is definitely more fun than smallest to largest. <laughs> Jim, Jim, are you... Are you, I've never felt this free before in are my you, life. Are you crying fun tears? It's so beautiful. It's fun to cry. <laughs> it is. Feeling emotion <laughs> is so fun. Oh my God. Oh. I think what I'm trying to say is I have not lived until today. <laughs> Me neither. How can I live when we we're parted? parted? What if we just stayed here forever? Uh, I don't have any other plans. That that works. That's fine by me. That sounds really fun. Never leaving this room? Never. We'll just keep doing what we're doing right now. <laughs> Never encounter another living creature? Sounds fun. Never eat? Just intravenously feed myself through this food tube that the ancients left for us? It's full of yogurt. <laughs> If for, for listeners, it kind of looks like a hamster feeding thing in a cage, but it's just full of yogurt. It's full of yogurt. Do you ever say yogurt? I also say yogurt. Ooh, that's right. Old. Isn't it fun? Yogurt also is kind of the the yogurt that I eat while jogging. I have a special. Sometimes I jog. 
Right. He, down here. Yeah, in place. I just <laughs> oh, jog okay. in place and eat my special yogurt. That must be while I'm using my screen time. <laughs> I yeah. really zone out then. So, well, I don't know if you know this, Jim, but typically you sleep five to 10 minutes a day when you're not working fur- furiously on the podcast. In yeah. those five to 10 minutes is when I usually you jog and yog. Jogging. jogging and jogging. Right. You do both. <laughs> yes, of course. So that that's good. So we're going to stay on here forever and have fun. Nothing but fun. Nothing but fun. And BF. With my BFF. Oh. <laughs> right? Wow. I know the ancient script did that, Jim, but I just want you to know that while pretending to be best friends for years and years and years, I feel like we're at least acquaintances at this point. At least! (laughs) That's fun! That's so fun. So fun to have an acquaintance (laughs) that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. Forever. And ever. No more alone. None. (laughs) You know what none rhymes with? Fun. It does. It you also know, rhymes with bun. Sun. Let's put some yogurt on these buns Ooh. I have. Ooh. And also on these buns I have that are, I'm talking about my butt. I got yogurt butt right now. Oh, nice. Oh, it feels so butt. fun. But mm. Also, I have bread buns. <laughs> like I, a hamburger bun. You have hamburger I'm gonna buns. Have a, I'm going to have a yogurt burger. You could put those yogurt hamburger buns on your actual buns, and then it would be buns on buns. Buns on buns. <laughs> that sounds like a great podcast. It sounds so fun. It sounds so fun. Here we are. Buns on buns. Buns on buns on buds. Oh, wait, what? There's a third? What's the third layer? On buds. On buds. Buns on buns. On buds. On buds. That's us. That's me and you. Yeah. And then we can put flower buds on top of that. On buds on buds. Buns on buns on buds on buds. Right. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. That- we did it. We made a podcast. We did the thing. We did it. All on our own. All on our own. Without reading the from ancients. the scripts. Yeah. I'm just going to set the script on fire now. There. Do it. There it is. We throw it into the fire. Yes. Yes. We should throw more things into the fire. Yes. The all consuming fun fire. Yes. Okay. So here's. Um, so let's take our lists. Throw, throw them those the on fire. the fire, and then I'm gonna take these kitchen plates. I don't know; they just left them here. Who needs? I'm them? gonna burn them because I have my feeding tube. Yes. Ah, oh, the fire. Let's take the yogurt is endless. Let's set yogurt on fire. <laughs> Ooh, wow! I didn't realize how much yogurt made fire burn brighter. Yes. Jeez, should we worry about this fun fire? Nah, nah. I'm having too much fun. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Huh. More fire. More fire, more fun. That's yes. what I say. Yes. Turn up the heat, baby. Yes. All right. See, this is normally the fire effect that people think is the fireplace, but this time it's, it's a real, real fire. Yes. Really getting closer to me. Yes. Every second. Yes. Oh, man. You know what would be the most fun? How much time is left? <laughs> About six minutes. Okay, not yet. I won't tell- <laughs> I won't tell you yet. <laughs> okay, you'll wait four more minutes. Uh, yes. Okay, so while the fire is contained over there on that side, yes. we have at least four more minutes to talk to before it consumes before us. Before fun. Before fun. Before more fun. Okay, that sounds ominous, but I'll ignore it for three more minutes. Yes. So, Jim, what's been your favorite fun thing that you've done today? Yogurt. Yogurt? Okay, fair. Yogurt. My favorite was the buns. The buns. I'm not gonna. The buns and the yogurt. I'm not gonna specify. Yogurt buns. <laughs> I loved it. I'm so free. <laughs> freedom. Oh. I love that in our freedom we chose to never leave this place. Yes. <laughs> That's so cool. Agency. Once the choice it's, is it's, mine. It, why would I want to leave? Why would we leave? We're having so much fun. <laughs> In our freedom, in reveling in our freedom it's right like here. It's like that kid you give a cardboard box to. That kid's Look happy. At the fire go. It's starting to eat the yogurt tube. Oh, it just ate the coffee maker. It's eating the buns. It's All the buns. Ooh, and yes, my, so fun. My buns are starting to feel a little toasty. We must give ourselves to the flame. Okay. That will be fun. All right. Well, here we go. I'm gonna walk into the fire. Oh, that's warm. Wait. Yes. 
Hello. Did you have fun today too? If so, five stars. <laughs> and leave a review. And uh, tell a friend. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And call the fire department. Because it's fun over here. It's fun. We're having fun. Oh, feel the heat. The heat instead gives of, me fun. Instead of the, uh, the, the mom of the ancients, I'm going to actually say hi to my own mom this time. Hi, yes. mom. Hi, mom. Uh, the they, ancients' moms have most certainly passed on. Gone to the ancient land. <laughs> ancient land? That sounds fun. It does. I might find myself there if this fire continues. Come with me. It will be fun. We're having fun. Let's have fun in the flames. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. I don't need your mile long bridge. Williamsburg is too expensive. Fuck the A train. Am I insane? No, I'm just never going back. Unless you force me to smoke crack. Or do a 